Hello everyone, I'm Cyan Proctor, the Science Communication Outreach Officer on the Geordie's Resolution Expedition 383, and I'm here with micropaleontologist Anika Brombacher. And Anika, you've got something interesting to show us. Yes, I've been looking at uh, microfossils for the, um, uh, the last six weeks of this cruise. Um, and the group of fossils that I'm studying, they're called planktonic foraminifera. They're about the size of a grain of sand. So you can see a couple of them here, so they're the tiny white specks. You can see that the, this black thing with them on it is about the size of my fingernail to give you an ID of perspective. And also on this stub, I've got a tiny eyelash. So it's very difficult to see on here. But we've got a special microscope that can show us all of the detail of these teeny tiny fossils and also what is living on top of their shells. Oh wow, that's cool. So we've got the uh, scanning electron microscope right here. It's a really cool microscope. It can zoom in up to 15,000 times. Uh, so even the tiniest things, they can show up really nicely on the screen and we can see exactly all the details of the shells. So this one is magnified about 50 times. So you see those three little blobs they are the planktic forums that I just showed you on the stub. And wow. then this big line here, that's the eyelash that was also on the stub, just for scale. Wow, so they are really small. They're really, really small. They're about the size of a grain of sand. And then we can zoom in on that um, a lot closer. So oh. this is 120 times magnification. So you can see this eyelash is getting really, really broad. Mm -hmm. And now we can see a little bit more detail on the shells. So we see that they've got a large opening in the middle, some smaller pores um, on the, um, the wall structures of the shells. And then zooming in even closer. So again, this is the eyelash. You can see how small this thing really is. Uh, you can see a little bit of the internal structure of the chambers. Wow. And we can see some, uh, some of the pores really nicely. And then there's these tiny grey dots on them. What are those? So they're not part of the shell. They're just bits from the sediments that have been sort of accumulating on the, on the forearms as they were preserved in the sediments. So even smaller bits? Yes, yes, loads smaller bits. And sometimes we can see um, fossils in this stuff that are a thousand times smaller than this forearm. Wow, that is super small. So they're so small that you can't see them with the naked eye. Even with just a normal light microscope, you wouldn't be able to see them. But with this microscope, we can. So if we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see all these little gray specks that are actually made up of these tiny little plates. Wow. So these are all from um, a group of microfossils called um, coccolithophores. They built this sort of spherical uh, structures made up of all these tiny little plates that are all interlocking and these are a couple of micrometers across so they're really really small you really need uh, advanced microscopes to be able to see them wow so fossil parts of a fossil on yes. top of another micro fossil exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> going from small to really small <laughs> and then finally if we zoom in about 3,000 times you can see these tiny little plates oh, on the yeah. surface of the forearm. You see these black holes here? Yeah. Those were the pores that we saw earlier, so okay. just tiny little specks on the surface. So it's now zoomed in so far that these pores become really big and we can see the uh, nanofossils, the coccolithophores, quite well. Wow, that's really cool. Thank you for sharing Ooh, that. No problem.